in this video i'm going to show you how to create a new users account using the exchange admin center so normally if you want to create a new user, users account you can actually go to your domain controller in active directory and here we can actually and use the copy of um, Tina Johnson to create a new user account or we can decide to just right click on the organization unit here and just click new and we can say new user and then create a new user's account but, as, but we can still create that same account using the exchange admin center so let's say you want to create a new user's account and automatically assign an email address to this user because if you create that account in your domain controller an email address will not be automatically assigned to the user so let me go to back to my exchange 02 here i'm going to actually click on the plus sign our recipients the mailboxes just click on the plus sign and click users mailbox so if you are creating a new users mailbox we have two options we're going to we can either use an existing user or we can use a new user so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a new user here. I'm going to create this new user. I'm going to call it um, Moses. His last name is going to be, um, let me just call the call him Anthony. So it's going to be Moses Anthony. And the user's logon name is going to be um, Moses Anthony at globalnigeria.com. You see, we only have one. Um, domain name. So we're going to actually give Moses a new password and then we're going to actually say confirm the password. So we're going to require the user to actually change their password as at the next on next logon just the way you would do it when you create it from a domain controller. So we also have the more option. So here we can actually decide to assign um, confirm if Moses is going to be on which database Moses can be. So if I decide to go to browse here, yeah, so you can see I have different um, database. Instead of using the default DB01, let me just use the DB02 for Moses. And then here we can, we don't have any policy right now for the Moses account. So if I click save, you can see Moses, uh, a new account has just been created, an email address as well, which is Moses.Anthony. But let me go back to my domain controller here. You can see right now you are not seeing any account that has been created for Moses. But mind you, when I create that account, if I click refresh, you see you're not seeing any account. So what happened is this, the account will be created under the default organization unit here. So if I refresh this, and I, you can see that Moses account has been created so what i need to do i can either just move the account of moses to the user's profile here and if i go to um let me just moses anthony you can see moses anthony now has an email address he has an account if i go to account you can see moses also has a logon name and as well you can see that the account option users must change password at next logon has been checked as well so which means when moses try to log on to a new computer Moses will need to actually change his pass password. But if you try to create a new account, let me just give you an example here. Users mailbox. And you try to create a new user account. We can actually browse to say, okay, where do we where do we want to create this account? So we want to create an account. You can actually choose the organization unit where this account should be created. So if I go to my the GN users and I choose the users, so which means any account when I create this account, it's going to actually be saved directly to this organization unit and not to the default organization unit. So I did that for you to actually see when you create an account where the account will be automatically saved without you selecting the organization unit where you want that, that account to be saved. So that is how easy it is actually to actually create an account using the Exchange Admin Center. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to give me a thumb up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for taking my time to, watch, to create this video. I will appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much.